What's your favorite sport? <laughs> well, if you're looking to buy vintage sporting goods, you'll need to pick one. Today, I've picked tennis. What's appealing about this wooden tennis racket is that the lacquer is still in good condition, the strings are intact, the leather grip feels good, it looks nice, and it only cost me 15 bucks. It's a Bancroft, and based on the fact that it's got a fiberglass overlay for reinforcement, plus it's the executive style, and I've looked up the model number here, it's uh, from the early 1970s. While this tennis racket isn't necessarily a collector's ace, it's really great because it's a cheap way to incorporate some sporting nostalgia into your home decor. Even ones with broken strings can look great on a wall. It's all a matter of preference. To get one restrung, it's probably gonna cost you more than what you originally paid for it. Another way to narrow down this huge collecting field is to think of who your favorite legend is and focus your search on what brand of equipment they used. I mean, their styles were pretty amazing, right? Vintage tennis rackets are pretty cheap because they're easy to come by. But just because it isn't rare doesn't mean it isn't cool. Big time tennis collectors are going to look for older rackets maybe ones from the golden age of tennis in the 1920s and even before, or ones that are from special limited series or even those signed and owned by famous players. What kind of vintage sporting goods do you like to decorate with? Maybe it's golf clubs, skis, snowshoes? Share in the comments.